Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends and uh, liking these videos. And if you like them, I would suggest please uh, subscribe this channel because that's the only way it will motivate me to create more content. So the topic for today is Azure Blueprints. We'll look into what Blueprint is and uh, how we can deploy that on the Azure site. So as we always do, uh, let's look at the basics of this. So the first thing that comes to our mind when we talk about Blueprint is, uh, let's take an example, say a government wants a recreational center to be built. So this recreational center will have a facility in which it will have a swimming pool, it will have uh, maybe uh, uh, gym, all these activities, right? And there will be also some stuff for the elderly people. So what uh, the city is going to do is that uh, they will hire an architect and uh, he will come with a blueprint. And this blueprint will include uh, information about uh, what will be the size of the building. Information about because there will be a swimming pool and it will be used by uh, maybe kids and also adults. So you need to make sure that uh, what is the depth of the water. If this building is any seismic prone uh, region, then you need to make sure that it is as per the building laws of that uh, that area. So all those things uh, generally which comes to my mind and obviously what will be the uh, height of the building, how many floors you can have in case there are multiple floors. So all those things are generally taken care of by the architect, right? Now, it's same thing if you apply From an organizational point of view, say there is a company called uh, IT Simplified, and they have uh, this business in which they have resources deployed in cloud, right? Uh, people, they are managing it, people, they're accessing it. Now, this is a huge company, so they want to make sure that uh, it is compliant, it is secured. So you want to have some sort of uh, framework which allow you to do and the blueprint will help you manage this because this will consist of artifacts and we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment so artifacts includes azure policy arm templates resource group so these are some of the uh, actually there is one more I just need to confirm and check that but the idea here is that uh, based on this you'll create a blueprint so your environment is totally secured and compliant That's the idea about uh, having a blueprint. So now you might be thinking that I can do all these things through template and we can also apply policy. And that is the big difference here when we talk about blueprint is that it brings all those things together so that you don't have to manage uh, like uh, from different interface. You can manage everything through blueprint and you can deploy and make sure that this is secured and uh, highly customized. So that is what uh, uh, Blueprint is. And Azure Blueprint can be applied at the management group level. Or at the subscription level. So if you apply this at the management group level, it's going to trickle down to all the subscriptions that you might be having underneath that. Or you can apply this to specific subscription. But the idea here is that uh, uh, you do, you can have a standard procedure 
to make sure that uh, your environment is secure, protected, it's compliant. And when we talk about regulated industries such as government, they have to adhere to a lot of uh, uh, compliance. So there might be a HIPAA requirement or there is some sort of federal requirement. And you need to prove this before you are able to deploy these resources. So uh, Azure Blueprint will allow you to do uh, and uh, manage this. So I hope uh, that was clear what uh, Azure Blueprint is in simple term. So with this, uh, let's go to the Azure portal site. And the best way to find Blueprint is, like anything on the Azure site, just do a search and it'll take you to Blueprint. And it's a three-step process. And the three-step process includes create, Blueprint, publish, and assign. It's a simple three-step process and that will allow you to create your blueprint. So let's go back and actually it shows you right over here and it is in preview right now. So certain things might change. So let's go and click on create. And once I click on the create, I can create everything from scratch so I can have a blank blueprint. So nothing has been added or I can use some of the built-in templates. So as I said that, uh, you know, a lot of uh, companies, government organization or federal, uh, they have to follow certain rules and restrictions from the compliance perspective. So there are a lot of built-in templates that are there that you can utilize. So like, for example, Australian government, ISM protected, and it has built-in policies uh, which are required uh, in order to be compliant with this uh, uh, requirement. So that is already included in the blueprint, ISO, MPA, UK official, right? All these. So let's say, for example, I want to pick UK official. And there are certain basic things that I have to put here, like name of my blueprint. I can give description. Under the definition location, I need to apply this against a management group or a subscription. I'll pick my subscription. And uh, I can go to next, which is artifacts. And you can see that uh, because uh, these are sample templates required by this uh, uh, UK government, there are certain things which are already populated over here, like policy assignments. So uh, according to this uh, template, uh, if you deploy SQL database, encryption should be uh, applied on it. Uh, you require, if you, there is a data leak storage account, you need to also encrypt that uh, allowed location. Uh, there are one out of one parameter. So there are parameters also, some of them have uh, zero out of two parameters. So let's look into that. So allowed location and because it's UK, I believe it will all only allow to deploy this within the UK region. So two is selected by default. Uh, I can specify this value when the blueprint is uh, assigned. So I can do that later on too. But if I just go and select this, and do a search, you can see that by default, UK South and UK West is selected because I think that's understandable because this is for UK government and they don't want the data or their resources to be deployed in any other region, right? So that is what is uh, uh, already uh, selected over here. And if I go under zero out of two parameters populated, so say log analytics for Linux VM, uh, I can specify the value here or I can do it later on too when I'm assigning this uh, blueprint so say for example if i uncheck this you know it is asking me to uh, give the name or set the value for log analytic workspace so another thing i just want to point here now there is no specific there is no cost associated with azure blueprint so if you want to deploy azure blueprint there is no cost associated with this the only cost will be there for the resources which are there so say for example in this case it's asking me to give the value for workspace so whatever is the cost associated with workspace and for how long i want to keep the data in that there'll be a cost associated but there is no specific cost associated with blueprint as of such 
So that is what, but you can see, uh, you know, based on built-in samples, I can utilize and deploy this. I can add artifacts. And as I said that uh, uh, there are different uh, kind of artifacts. Actually, there are four. So let's go back. So there is also role assignment. So I can give uh, specific roles or role bakes SS control, what you call RBAC through these uh, blueprints. So let's go back. So let me do this way. Let me just cancel this and uh, come out of it. What we're going to do is let's go and create a blank blueprint so that you can see what is the process. So let me go and pick this. I'll give it a name. Now, this is for the company called ITS. I can give the name for that, ITS Blueprint, give a description. I will apply this under which the subscription is. And uh, let's go to artifacts. Hmm. Same. Include letters. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to artifacts and uh, my subscription is selected. Let's go and add artifacts over here. And as he said that uh, you can uh, apply blueprints on these four uh, artifacts. For example, if I go to policy assignment, I can specify what policies uh, that this blueprint will include. Here I have initiative definition and I have uh, policy definition. Uh, and there is a number associated with this. Now, the difference between initiative definition and policy definition is that, uh, actually, let me go to my white, whiteboard. So this is part of the Azure policy, right? So when we talk about initiative uh, definition, or what is it? Is it definition or? Yeah, initiative definition. It allows me to manage multiple policy definition. Multiple policy definition. That's why you see the number on the policy definition is uh, bigger. So say for example, just for example sake, if I want to uh, enable monitoring. In Azure Security Center. Now monitoring includes a lot of stuff, right? What I can do is I can go to. I can show you. So if I go to initiative and just do a search for enable. Monitoring in Azure Security Center. Now if I do that, it will include a couple of uh, policy definition. For example, it will include. Uh, monitoring of uh, endpoint uh, if there's any endpoint security is there on my machines it will also uh, monitor any operating system vulnerability it will also uh, monitor if there is any encryption uh, on the sql database and it will funnel everything to the azure security center uh, so that's why he said that it will allow you to compile or manage multiple policy definition under initiative definition otherwise if i just go here and actually let me Say monitor and see if I can and point monitor. Let me search this way. Monitor. So you see this thing monitor missing endpoint. That is part of the initiative definition that I showed you. Uh, also, in case it is uh, uh, missing, what you call the endpoint, uh, missing operating system vulnerability, that will also check. Also, check the monitoring of unencrypted SQL database in the Azure Security Center. So there are three, four policy that I can compile under the uh, initiative definition. So that is what it is over here. So you can add over here. Yeah, you can also remove this. So let me also show you. You can also go role assignment so I can specify uh, what person can have what role over here. I can specify that a person should have a reader role or say a contributor role. 
I can uh, specify it over here, or when I'm assigning, I can also do that too. Because as I, as I, if you remember, as I told you, it's a three-step process: creating a blueprint, publishing it, and assigning it. So, say for example, I want to give Girish uh, the contributor access. I can do that. Let me pick this. Let's go and click on add. So that has been added. I want to add more artifacts. I can go and uh, create, uh, if I have already the templates, I can go and uh, import the templates over here. So as I said that, uh, you know, uh, that will make the uh, deployment and automation far more easier. So I can go and add my templates over here if I have already one, or I can create everything from scratch. So here I can add the templates, or I can also create a resource group. So if I go and name this uh, if I can type in correctly so give the artifact display name I can again give the value so let me just give the name so let's say it is ITS RG and specify the location where I want to save this so I want to save this in Canada say Canada Central I can also tag it I'm not gonna do right now but let me just go and click on add so you can see that uh, under the list of resource group my resource group name is selected and I can always edit this I can always change it I can remove it all those things I can do and once I save this So the blueprint definition was uh, successful. So the first step is done and I, I can go to apply to a scope. And you can see I created uh, one before that. So that is already there. So this is the one we created right now. If I go under the blueprint, you can see under the draft, these are the two ones. So if I want, I can pick and I can publish this. So this will be published. So that will be the second step. And the third step will be assigning this. So these are the three steps uh, that we make it uh, available. And all those policies that you have specified and role-based access control and everything will be there as part of this blueprint. And you can use this uh, multiple times to deploy this in multiple regions. You can always edit it. You can change it. Uh, so you can see how useful it is from the organizational point of view, especially large companies which have to manage multiple uh, uh, multiple sectors uh, specifically the federal the compliance if they have multiple teams such as uh, dev and testing production uh, they can have a specific blueprint for specific needs so that is how you will uh, create blueprint i can always uh, uh, remove this right if i go i can uh, delete the blueprint Right. It's as simple as that. I'm not uh, publishing this or assigning this because this is part of my shared subscription, so I don't want to do anything, uh, which is not normal, uh, not uh, according to the company requirement. But this gives you an idea about uh, what Azure Blueprint is, how you can utilize this and uh, apply this in your organization so that it is compliant and secure. I hope you found this video on uh, Azure Blueprint useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.